five years of planning, the city of Champlin moves forward on a massive project to redevelop a stretch of land. It's along the Mississippi River. And Paul Bloom joining us live now. So, Paul, a lot of moving pieces with this. So, what are people in town saying? Hey, Kelsey, Amy, it seems like an awfully exciting time for the city of Champlain. They've got this beautiful river serving as its border, and now the plan is to really open up the riverfront, particularly this rugged green space behind me, basically bringing people to the water with a jewel of a riverfront, including an amphitheater, pavilions, a restaurant, and much, much more. But there are some in this community who I spoke to today a little leery, worried about the crowds that may follow. It's really gorgeous um, and, you know, just kind of a relaxing spot to be to get some work done. Stacy Brooks and her husband tell me that they absolutely love having the Mississippi practically in their backyard. We come out every, every couple of weeks uh, just to use uh, a little bit of relatively quiet space by the river here because that's you know, it's, it's on purpose that we're out here in Champlain and not somewhere closer into the urban core. The city of Champlain now moving forward with some big plans. A $100 million development project to open up river access beyond the current dam, a few docks and some greenery in Point Park. So it provides people um, that may not live on the river the opportunity to get exposed to it and see Champlain from the riverside. Our Fox 9 drone flying overhead to capture the scope of the project. The first phase is a 200 plus unit bow line apartment building tucked in between Highway 169 and the river. Residents should begin moving in this winter. Phase two getting underway Monday. Park area improvements with these trees coming down to make way for a river walk, plaza, some glassy pavilions, an amphitheater, and eventually a rooftop restaurant with panoramic. Mississippi views. The park improvements and the amenities are going to bring the river right to the residents and that's what the city council has been looking for. And while the project has been 20 years in the making for city leaders, some in town a bit weary, liking Champlain's current little Mississippi secret. I hope that if they are going to develop something more that um, it doesn't it doesn't pull in lots more folks, like it doesn't necessarily make Champlain a big uh, riverfront destination for folks from a broader area and make this space a lot busier. And I mentioned that apartment building, building open up this winter. Figure the first residents should move in by December. Those park improvement uh, plans, the project getting underway today, that should be done this time next year. Let me tell you, Amy, Kelsey, we come back here 12 months, 13 months from now, and that river looking over towards Anoka here in Champlain going to look a whole lot different. We're live along the Mississippi. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.